What's up guys, it's me Jeremy. With the changes to Blitzcrank's Overdrive in patch 5.7, it sparked a pretty interesting balance option that I originally kind of thought was really bad and a huge nerf, but now I realize that it actually has a lot of potential. Let's get started. Now, I hold true to the fact that the change to Blitzcrank's W was, let's be honest, a nerf. And I think it's fair to say that it was definitely intended to be a nerf, but it really got me thinking. Right now in League, it's essentially one of the only, if not the only ability that punishes itself to an extreme extent. Right now, abilities have a small punishment when you use them, being the cooldown downtime on that ability, causing you to lose pressure on your opponent, as well as the resource cost of that ability, which causes you to have to manage how often you are spamming your skills. And as the game has progressed, it's held true to the fact that those two punishing things are realistically enough to punish wasting an ability. And we can see this in how the game is balanced around cooldowns and mana costs so effectively, as a large amount of champions have one, if not both of those two things, as a weakness inherent in their kits. But Riot has decided to explore the option of having an ability gain an additional punishment, and that Blitzcrank's W now slows him for 30% for 1.5 seconds after using it. And so now we see this third added punishing element onto an ability, and we have to think what this means for the kit of the champion. Well, the obvious element is now that that skill becomes much more difficult to use, and adds a really significant weakness into the champion's kit. It makes the champion in general significantly easier to play against, and in turn much harder to play, since now a minor mistake that you make with that skill can become incredibly punishing, as opposed to just a minor downtime in your cooldowns and stuff. In this one specific change to Blitzcrank, I do think the nerf was maybe a little bit big, and Riot could have definitely done something such as possibly lowering or even removing completely the mana cost, but it was definitely intended to be a pretty significant nerf, so I guess it's okay. But now you get super punished whenever you use the skill, however with Blitzcrank's kit, the thing to understand is that you normally intend to use this hyperdrive ability to make an initiation-esque play on your opponents. And so if you fail to make your play, you now get super wrecked, but if you succeed by hitting your hook or your knockup, the slow that you get actually doesn't really matter since you're already pulling them into melee range. So it punishes him in a way that does not counteract with his kit, meaning that it doesn't really punish you for making a success play. It only punishes you if you already mess up with your play from the first place. So it promotes conservative plays and calculated decisions, while making mistakes reasonably more brutal to make. And because of that, I actually think this change is huge in terms of promoting healthy gameplay, and adds in a pretty strong element of outplaying yourself that doesn't really exist in the game so far for the most part, but is really awesome in my opinion and it's starting to be introduced and it's really healthy and gives opponents a strong element of counterplay, which is, realistically, always good. And then, on the other hand, we have to think of the positives that an element such as this brings to a champion's kit. Before this nerf, Blitzcrank's Overdrive only gave a 32% movement speed boost at rank 5, and now it actually gives a 90% movement speed boost at rank 5. Yeah, okay, it decays and it doesn't last as long, but you have to at least bring up the point that you can improve the raw power of a skill when you add in this punishing element. In terms of what Blitzcrank is trying to do, which is get in range for a hook, or even better, to walk into melee range for a knockup and then hook to follow up, this larger, shorter movement speed buff is realistically much more potent than the longer, slower movement speed buff, for the sole purpose of that it helps him do what he is trying to do much better. And so because of that, it becomes potentially easier to make plays such as walking into range for a knockup or running up for a hook. Yes, if you miss or mess up, you kind of get wrecked a lot harder now, but the fact remains that it is, at least on paper, easier for you to make that respective play with this nerf. And so the thing to realize is that by introducing this kind of punishing element, you could also really introduce some extremely powerful abilities, and not have them actually be overpowered at all due to the punishing element 
that would be inherent into their kids. And so it makes those skills much harder to use, adds in loads of counterplay, but also increases the potential that your champions' kit has to make plays by a really significant amount. I mean, think of the possibilities you could have with a skill like this. Say, for an example, you have something that gives you a bunch of dashes, but then say, maybe you take double damage while you're dashing, or you have some ability that does like a ton of damage, but over like say four seconds or so, but if you fail to kill your target, you get stunned for like a second or something. Now, those obviously aren't really the best ideas, and I kind of came up with them pretty quickly, but I'm sure you could think of some amazing things that could possibly exist in the game due to this element of giving punishing counterplay to a champion's kit. And so this is a new area of counterplay that Riot is starting to explore, and I'm really excited for it. Anyways, my name is Jeremy, and that's it for my video on the inherent punishment inabilities and the recent change to Blitzcrank's W. Hey guys, it's me Jeremy. Thanks for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, definitely make sure to hit that like button so I can tell, and if you're interested, definitely check me out on all the socials, of which you can see over there. And if you really enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe for some more awesome content in the future, as well as you can check out some of my other videos up here and over there. Anyways, that's going to be it. Thank you so much for watching, and of course, I'll see you guys next time.